So Tony, how is COPD diagnosed? So COPD, as we mentioned before, is a chronic disease, has several symptoms, shortness of breath, cough, but the only way you can diagnose COPD is through a lung function test called spirometry. We cannot rely on patient symptoms, we cannot rely on patient's smoking history or exposure to any other environmental conditions. We must have the spirometry to identify if there is an obstructive process in the lungs. And that is very important because we know now around 15% of people who smoke, they, do not, they, they don't develop COPD, they develop interstitial lung disease, develop chronic lung fibrosis. And the assumption will be, oh, smoke is COPD, let's treat it as a COPD. And these people don't have obstruction. They're going to have restriction in the respirometry. And we're going to be wasting many years that we could identify that they have other kind of lung diseases that, are that need to be treated as soon as possible. So as I said before, spirometry is the only way that you diagnose COPD. And as a parallel comparison to other diseases like arterial hypertension, you will never treat a patient for a high blood pressure without measuring blood pressure once, twice, three times, be 100% convinced that they do have high blood pressure. In COPD, you need to have a spirometry, you identify the obstruction process, and then you confirm the diagnosis.